You know, I'm often asked, uh, how could a community or a school our size produce four NFL players? And, uh, you know, without question, you have to have some God-given tools. But I think a lot of communities have athletes that have great athletic ability. Uh, I go back and, and I look at uh, Casey uh, Wigman. He was the first one. Uh, I have to look at the strong work ethic that all four of those young men had. Uh, I look at their families that they came from. Uh, very strong family backgrounds, as is our community. Our community has strong family values. You know, the values of work ethic, trying to be the best you can be, taking pride in who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Uh, you know, they were able to take dreams and goals and make them into a reality. And I think a lot of that just comes from, from developing a plan, following through that plan. Because I think in athletics, you have athletes who are at one level, and then you have potential where they could be. The problem is, most young people never fill in that gap and reach their full potential. Uh, I, I think young people have to be very self-driven to want to reach those goals. Uh, that they've set and, and as a coach I'm just there to sort of help uh, as a uh, facilitator uh, you know in in some way there's nothing that Ed Thomas did that I that I personally feel allowed those four to get to the NFL I just helped nurture them and, and help them mature and, and try to teach uh, the proper values uh, that I think are so important to be successful in life, not only as a player, but as a dad, uh, as a parent, uh, as a member of a church or a person in the community. Uh, I think those are the, the intangible values that our school and our community have always taught. Those are things that, that I'm extremely proud of. And I think those were all factors that helped those young people get to the point where they are today.